so exciting, we're going on a tour of the Grand Mosque today. Mandy's having a bit of trouble putting <laughs> her buyer on. It's, it's wonderful, they do provide them and I really like how it looks. Mm. Kind of Just, like Jedi Knight. Uh, trying to work it out. But look at <laughs> so do you fold it over? <laughs> I think it's like this. Like this? And yes. it said like as... It looks nice. <laughs> can you see? I can yes, see. Like this, like Perfect. Yeah. And then this goes... Somewhere. Around the back. Or oh, maybe it tucks in. A very kind lady just helped Mandy out there. Yes, it You're all set. Yeah. It ties. It tied at the back. The yeah. Back. Very tidy. Yes, it's lovely. Today we're visiting the Grand Mosque in Kuwait City. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. We're going to be going on a guided tour. I think it lasts between like one to two hours. Yep, the tours are free and they're a great way to see the mosque and learn all about it. So we're here at the Diwaniya for the Grand Mosque. Oh, it just looks so beautiful. So lovely. And we're going to be served refreshments, tea before the tour starts. The Grand Mosque of Kuwait. This mosque was built by late Emir Sheikh Jabal Ahmed Jabal Subah. It was built on 1979 and it took approximately seven years to be done. With the cost on that day is 14 million KD, which now may cost triple with the inflation. For the men, there is a down uh, prayer hall down there. Yes. And up, uh, it is for the ladies. And as you can see, uh, for the ladies, it's covered with the wood. We call this one Mustadiyya. We're so fortunate, like, I think this is the first tour of the day and it's just Lee and I. There's, there's no one else here. Each one weighs approximately one ton, as you can see. Wow, it echoes, yeah, yeah. all around. A small yeah. sound sounds large. Yeah. So beautiful, it really yeah. is. I don't think we've seen a mosque with this colour scheme before. So we were just talking about the carpet, and apparently the colours are to represent the colours of Kuwait. You have the desert next to the sea. Like, uh, in Arabic we have for each uh, time in the day there is a name. So the prayer is named with the timing. Yes. So mm -hmm. the Fajr, it Fajr. is the one uh, in the early morning. After the Fajr it is the sunrise, so you should be uh, like praying before the sunrise. Uh, then uh, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. The application, especially when we are in, in a non-Muslim country, it helps us also to see the direction. Oh. This way. So we're now looking for the secret door to find where the Imam goes up. Aha. Is this it? This one? <laughs> yeah, this is it. Great success. Oh wow, so this is where the Imam sits. And delivers speeches from here. To 10,000 people who can be gathered out there. Ah. Imagine that. Beautiful. So cool. When you look at the patterns here in the carpet, they're actually the same as those on the ceiling. Wow, hand wow. carving from gypsum. Beautiful. Look at the detail. Yes. Colonised by, by the Moor, you know. So, so wonderful. Like hard to, to Portugal, it's and they still use this style in their tiles now. And you can see uh, what is interesting in the Moroccan one that yeah. the kiln uh, they use a traditional one, so not all the stones are reaching the same heat. No. So uh, it gives a lot of colours. You can see yeah. not all oh. of them have the same colour. As part of the tour of the Grand Mosque, you're taken into the Emir's Divania. Now this is a lovely room with oh again beautiful carvings the ceiling's amazing and you get to see where the vip guests wait before the friday prayers then after that we went out into the courtyard area and we saw some more art heading towards the art galleries that's the opposite yeah incredible i'm impressed with this tree trunk here yeah? i don't know if these things of nature how it looks like they've got it to grow deliberately though. Yes, yeah, like lattice work. Now we're at the Islamic art exhibition. So it's so lovely. This art gallery shows the calligraphy of the Quran, like the six main types, and all the other types as well. And just like the international influences and the way things have been written in different countries. And it's really interesting. Well worth a visit. So one of the things I really enjoyed about this tour of the Grand Mosque here in Kuwait is not only do they show us the, the Grand Mosque itself, 
and the Amir's room. But they also showed us uh, two different galleries, one showing like Arabic calligraphy, like for the Quran, how it's like changed over the years, how it's different. And also the other one was like the history of the Quran. As you can see, there are so many sections here. Oh, well signposted. It was like an amazing tour of the Grand Mosque and the two galleries. Yeah, really interesting. Yeah. The guides were fantastic. They explained a lot. It's well worth coming here and uh, taking a look around the mosque. And we actually ended up spending two and a half hours here. But the, the <laughs> short tour is like 45 minutes. So yeah, yeah, if you don't have a lot of time, they will take you a quick whip in to take photos and things like that. So come and check it out. It's so cool. Halid has brought us to see the largest Dow in the world. And so, oh, how wonderful. Yeah, yeah. In English. So it's built in 1979. The boom. Oh, yeah. and here's the boom. Called Muhammadi II. Wonderful. There's another thing in 1979, like the Grand Mosque and the completion of the Q80 Towers. Wow. Yalla, I've learnt Yalla, I've learnt Yalla, which means hurry up. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> keep selling people with YouTube. Thank you so much. So this, lovely. Is, this is the real boat. This is the real one. Real yeah. one. It came yes. from India in 1979. Wow. And then we convert to the restaurant and we started in 1982. Now it's complete 40 years. Now 41 years. Oh, it's running. Years. That's amazing. Oh my word, it's beautiful. <gasps> the wood uh, and, and the, the floor is curved. Yeah, okay. Feels like you're at sea. Beautiful wooden furniture. The size of this, it's incredible. Original wood. Oh, wow. Wow. And it just smells lovely as well, doesn't it? Mm. Very good. It's wonderful. Thank you, Haled. It's been so wonderful to be with Haled. He's taken us to so many incredible places and seen so many wonderful things. I want to say it's very, a lot of stairs here. Oh wow, thank you. You can see the biggest boat in the world. Uh, Guinness Book of Records 2002. I don't know if it's uh, been superseded now, but it's in front of us and that is just absolutely incredible. Al Hashimi 2. We'll, we'll take a look at that afterwards. It's like being on a pirate ship. <laughs> look how big it is. Wow. This, this is a, a this, big Dow. This, this is a big Dow. Wow, yeah. and then look at yeah. that one. The biggest yeah. Dow in the world. Handmade. Handmade. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And they made it here in Kuwait? Uh, yeah, yes. Ha has it ever sailed to other places before? Or is no. it always here, just here. On, on the dock? Yeah. Wow. Wow. This place is absolutely amazing. It's like the first place that we've seen so far in Kuwait City that's sort of like yeah, it has a really lovely like resort feel you know being by the sea and there's a lovely pool there and of course there's this incredible yeah. boat it's just such a wonderful opportunity to be able to walk around the Muhammad II and have a look at the amazing features and what a beautiful little area this one here was you know what a great place to sit down have coffee with your friends and just enjoy that amazing atmosphere so cool. The arrows up here and the, the chairs here are at a, an angle of maybe 20 degrees or something. I'm amazed they must be bolted down because otherwise they'd slide straight down the back. Wow. Oh, yes. Living history, isn't it? Beautiful. Let's go down one you step. It is um... yeah, pretty steep, man. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> It seriously is magnificent. Oh my word. All the famous oh, yeah. people that have visited wow. this place. Also, yeah. Margaret Thatcher was here from this country. Yes, <laughs> yes. 1998. Yeah, we have a representative. Really? Yes. Dame Sylvia Cartwright. Yeah, we've had uh, Queen Rania from Jordan. There's been wow. uh, Ban Ki moon, Kofi Annan. Many yes. famous people. The Kofi Annan. Yeah. Madeleine oh. Albright. Wow! It's like the United Nations yes. uh, exactly. headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Colin Powell was here, yes. Hillary Clinton was here. 
rules. I would there. say yes. one more history exactly about this uh, door. Yes. If you read here, this is one of the our owner house. I mean, they bring it from here. It was built nine eighteen ninety seven. Wow. So like like uh, now it's touching one hundred twenty six years. Oh my and word! Amazing. So the steel is very strong. Yes, it's a solid piece of, uh, piece of work. Even the all the wooden is yes. like that, exactly. Fantastic. <laughs> it's still in perfect working order. All right. Amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Ship's nails, are To build are a boat they? that big, you need nails this big. <laughs> when they're finished building the... Ah. ah. Oh, wow. This is absolutely enormous. I'm not too sure if you can tell with Lee and Halid how big it is. So, wow. Lee will be super happy because it's another maritime museum. Hold on for your life. See? No. See? Really? See? To come and sit here. Oh my word. Nobody inside will see you. <laughs> they didn't call it the poop deck or anything. That is so cool. Also just incredible. Amazing part of Q80 heritage. This is really, you know, the skill of these boat builders is just unbelievable. It's just so amazing. It looks like an old fort. Must go over there. And just the side of this incredible Dow, world's largest. I just wish I was a good enough cinematographer to like to show you. The incredible scale of this Dow, it's immense, beautiful. Shh, I don't know if we're allowed in, but we're gonna go in anyway. Oh, the lovely security guard. Yeah, security he, guard. He, he told us. Nod. Yeah. It's like an adventure. <laughs> Going through the building into the side of the Dow. Wow. <laughs> it's got a few stories, all the ballroom. <laughs> It's like the coolest pirate ship you've ever seen. I know, yeah, and the fact that it's all dark and sort of <laughs> feels a bit mysterious, that makes it even better. <laughs> and look at that, there was light. <laughs> now, now, now you can wow. see it how wonderful it is in all its glory. It's magnificent, oh my word. Oh, it's just gold and glorious. So many lights. Can you see them all? Beautiful. Like magnificent. I didn't realise it was going to be this opulent. I thought right. it would just be, you know, a bit of wood and some furniture. But yeah. Spectacular. Like the floor, the parquet flooring. It's just like every inch of it is decorated. So there's a stairway there. Those guys have gone up to that mezzanine level. And then there's a further staircase up there. Oh, this most beautiful circular staircase. Oh. 
Hello, how are you? That is magnificent. The sunlight coming through the coloured glass. Oh my word. Yeah, the, if you can see the angle that Lee is on. Beautiful, so light. I mean, of course, you can see this level, there are no lights on. This is all just natural lighting. And again, so much ornamentation, decoration, no surface left uncovered. And that beautiful floor, parquet flooring, it's exquisite. The city over there in the distance. Magnificent. That's just, I think, my adjective for this place. World's largest Dow. And it is beautiful. Seriously, it's, this is such a cool stick. Can you see that angle? Oh my word. Just, it narrows this way. What do you think, Lee? You've said all the superlatives, haven't you? I can't think of any more. It's just, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. Inside the Radisson Blue Hotel. Wow. Very nice. I'm very impressed with the bathrooms at the Radisson Blue. Lovely. Another first for me, it's the first time I've seen water come out from something like this. That is so cool. Bathrooms of the world. Love them. <laughs>